Hello beautiful people. Today we'll be learning how to make this keyhole neckline. It's an interesting project to make. Please join me while we get into it. To make my keyhole neckline, I already have my my fabric cut out. This is my princess cut. I've not cut out the neckline yet. This is my princess armhole that Apart from this, if you want to have this keyhole neckline, I will advise that you use your princess armhole that pattern or your basic bodies because it's wide enough to contain the keyhole neckline. Your breast cuts will not be enough to do that because you have all the shoulder to yourself. So now to create my keyhole, I'm going to be using this pattern paper to draft my, to draw my keyhole out. So this paper is enough to give me the shoulder measurement. So this paper is enough to, to give me the measurement I need. The shoulder measurement I'm working with, I place this fabric of fold. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. I've already added my half inch for joining my sleeve here. So I'm just going to be bringing it down. So I'll just draw my starting line from here. So I'm just repeating, I'm just making like, let's call it a... A smaller pattern for this particular dress. This is to allow me make my keyhole neckline. So the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 8 inches, which is 16. I'm going to mark my 3 inches here to create my shoulder slant. I'll come down by 1 inch here to create my shoulder slant. I'll connect it this way. Okay, so I'll be working with a neckline of three inches by three inches you can do 3.5 you can do three inches so it depends on how high you want the neck then you want the neckline to be so now that i have this to create my keyhole I, let me cut out my shoulder slant cut out my shoulder slant and then also cut out the neckline You can go ahead and do your armhole, but it's really not necessary. Like I said, this is just a, a pattern to guide me in making my keyhole neckline. So this is it. So I'm going to come down from this neckline by 3.5. I'll mark my 3.5 here. 3.5. I'll take it round. 3.5. And then 3.5. So that's how how I want my keyhole to be or how long I want the depth of the keyhole to be. So you see, I have this. I'm just going to use my tracing wheel. You can see my fabric, my paper is on fold. So I'm going to be transferring it from this side to this side. So now to create that keyhole, you notice that from what I showed us, the keyhole is an oval shape. So I'll get another piece of paper, I'll cut from this side. I'll use it as a pattern for my keyhole. So let me just cut out from this paper. It's going to be easy for me that way. So I'll come here and place my paper on fold. Now that I have this paper, you remember that I'm working with from here I came down by what? 3.5. So I'm going to mark that 3.5 on this paper. I'll mark that 3.5 on this paper. At the base here, I'm going to mark one inch this is on fold so by the time i open it i'm going to have two inches so it depends on how wide you want it to be if you want to have 1.5 when you open it you can make it three quarter of an inch let me use three quarter of an inch let me use three quarter of an inch i think i like i like i prefer to have one inch so I'll just come here to this point and just blend it up here by that three quarter of an inch and then I'll use my armhole curve to so I'm just going to use I've used my curve I'm zero rising at this point so you can see so you just use your curve nicely to just blend up this part well just blend it up well so I'll go ahead and cut out this part so this is just like a pattern or am I going to say like a sample that will help me to get exactly the same thing as you can see I've cut out my keyhole so this is what it will look like when it is on the on the main on the neckline 
So you see, placing it here, you can see it's ending here exactly at the neckline, which is my 3.5. So to do this, I'm just going to place it on fold like so from here. Because you remember that my pattern paper is on fold. I'm just going to place it on fold and then I'll use my marker pen to draw out this pattern. So this one that is on fold means that I, I'm going to have, I'm leaving it on fold because I'm going to have this half on this side and then the other, the second half on the other side. So this is it for my pattern. So I'll open up this one. So to be able to place, to know where to place the second one, I'm going to leave a space of like two inches or 1.5 depending on how wide you can go. I just want to, let me use one and three quarter. So I'm going to place it like so and then I'll mark it. This is because I don't want to have plenty of the keyholes. I just want to have five. So if you want to have more of the keyholes on the neckline, then you need to you need to increase the size. You need to make it smaller. So I'll give a space of one one and three quarter inch. This is my one and three quarter inch, and then I'll place the last one. So here is the last one. I'll just mark it. So I have my pattern now drawn out. So I'm just going to use my tracing wheel and transfer my markings to the other side. You remember that I said it's on fold, and of course this is how the neckline is going to be. So I transfer my markings to the other side. This is how to use your tracing wheel to transfer markings. So you just make sure that you are tracing it out well, press it well so that your markings will transfer to the other side of the pattern paper. So I'm going to do the same for this one. This is so that you have exact, the exact replica of what you have here on this side or the other side. Okay, so I'll do that for this one too. Okay, so you come here and also transfer this base uh, this is my 3.5 inch so that you know that this is where it's going to stop so let me flip to the other side so you can see my markings are clearly transferred to the other side of my paper so i'll just use my marker to trace it out so I'll first of all trace out the base which is my 3.5 i'll come here to trace out the other half of the center And then I'll go ahead to do this also. Okay. And then I'll do this also. Now that I have it, you can see what it looks like. So I have my five, my five keyholes on the neckline. So I'm going to bring in my princess, princess armhole that and place it on the neckline. So before you do that, please do well to apply gum stay on the neckline. This will help the the neckline of your dress to be stable. So you you won't have it wobbling here and there, and it helps it to be neater and firm. That's just it. The most important thing is that it's going to be stable and firm. So just going to apply my gum stay on the neckline. So you can see that I've not cut out my neckline on my fabric. So what I'll just go ahead to do here, I'll place this pattern on the on my fabric, then I'll cut out my neckline. So now I've 
applied my gum stay to my lining and I've also applied it to my fabric. This will help my neckline to be firm and neat. So I'll bring in my pattern like so and place it. So I'm just going to make sure that I pin it down. Can you see where this is going to be? See how it's going to be like this. So I have my sewing allowance here. So my keyhole is topping exactly here. I have my sewing. This part is just going to be free. The keyhole will not extend to that part. So I'll pin it and then I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew this like this. So so and then come back and show us how to turn it out. So as you can see, I've sewn my keyhole. Let me turn it to this side. So you see with this pattern that I have here or this Let's call it a template or something. With this, it has helped me to have even keyholes. You can see everything is even. So I'll go ahead and remove this pattern paper and this paper right now. Just tear it out. So like I said, if you don't want to use bias to turn your neckline, you can go ahead to sew like, can you see how I sew this way? You won't stop here. You take it this way, then bring it this way, bring it this way. That's how you turn this one. When in a situation where you don't want to use, maybe when you want to use needle and thread to tack your neckline down. So I'm just going to tear out my paper without talking too much. So I've neatly I've neatly removed my pattern paper. So I'm going to come in with my scissors and then cut this neckline. I'm going to follow it and cut out my keyhole neckline. So you try to cut as close as possible to your seam. Endeavor not to cut your seam line, that's your thread line. So endeavor not to cut it. I'm just going to cut it I'll come from this side and cut out this side. done that so I'll go ahead and do it for all of them and then I'll show us how to turn it out I finished cutting out my keyholes so I'm just going to turn them out now you can see how they are looking can you see that I zerized at this point you see how this is overlapping on this this is also coming here to overlap here this is coming here to overlap here. so you see why I said if you don't want to turn with a bias you can close up this part then you now use your needle and thread and tack them together so you can just use some kind of beads and cover those kind of places maybe things like pearls or whatever but in my own case i'm going to be using my bias so i'm just going to turn out this part easily you can see how it is so the more space you have here the easier it will be for you to turn it out, I will advise. So just make sure that you have enough space so that it's easy to turn it out. Can you see this part? So I've turned out this first one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn out the second one. Then I'll press it and show us what it looks like before we use our bias to turn the neckline. Okay. So I finished turning out my neckline, as you can see, and I've ironed it nicely so you can see how my keyholes you see for the fact that I zerized can you see how they are overlapping on each other all I just need to do is to just top stitch this together and then create my bias I'm going to create my bias using my fabric my Ankara fabric so I'll use it to turn the neckline then of course I'll join my bustier my princess armhole bustier I'll join my bustier and then I'll show us the finished outcome Okay, I've gone ahead to sew my bias tape around the neckline. It's looking really nice and neat. This is the wrong side of my fabric. And see how it is. I've also padded my princess armhole that you can see what it looks like. Sitting well. I also added this lemon green by M um, tape. This bias, I'm going to be taking it all, all by M um, strip. I'll be taking it all the way down to the hem of the dress when I join the lower part. This is what it looks like on the mannequin. If this tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like, share. See you in my next one. Bye.